Hello everyone, this is Peron from Speak of the Stars, or as you see the channel now, if, you, if you've noticed, or if you're an old time viewer, it's called Star Speaker Arts now. This is like the third, no, second rebrand of the channel, and not much will change to be honest. Um, I just felt like the Speaker of the Stars was a little hard to read as a username, and it's a little long, like Star Speak, like Spear of the Stars Arts is really long. It just used to be my gamer tag, or at least one of my usernames. So, uh, yeah, I just felt I wanted to switch it up a little bit, make it a little bit easier to remember. So, Star Speaker Arts is the variation I came up with. I've updated all of my social media accounts already, more or less, to reflect that. Even though I don't use it anymore, but you know, you have to be like a core member and I don't use it anyway. So, my Instagram, my Twitter, my Facebook, they all go under Star Speaker Arts now. Um, but yeah, I'll link it all below anyway. Excuse me, which I need to change the description on my YouTube thing. Anyway, it's been 10 months since I last posted a video, and that was the Okita Soji Bond 10 celebration video. And I remember I even said like, oh, I already drew the catalyst for Summer Okitaj. And you know, now is actually the perfect time for it. Because right now in FGO NA, we are rerunning Las Vegas Mizuki Kengo um, Swordmasters, 7 Duel Swordmasters event in NA. So now is actually the perfect time. It's not quite the catalyst since I already have her. I'm not pulling either since I, I can't afford to shout out the SQ right now. Um, but yeah. Yeah, so somewhat good timing, somewhat not. Uh, it's been like a year since since that event happened and I've had Okita J Soji Okita Summer really well loved and used in my FCO account by now. But hey. So I did this drawing last year ish and it was an interesting drawing. I wanted to draw her up in the sky because, you know, she has jetpacks and I only realized later on it's kind of similar to her sprite art, but whatever. And the way that I went about the coloring and the lighting, I was experimenting with it a little bit. So I was putting more layer effects. That's why that's I'd say it was an interesting drawing to do. Um, reflections. From a footage that was, that, that was recorded a year ago, there's some anatomy, not really anatomy, but like she looks a little too muscly, I guess, which wasn't what I was really going for. It's fine, I guess. Um, the shading and stuff could definitely be better. Could definitely be better. The line art I would have liked it to be thinner, I think. Like looking at this now, it's fine. If you zoom out, it's not as thick as how I used to do it, but. I want, kinda wanted more daintier and thinner in terms of line art. And yeah. I I'm not really sure what to talk about. It's been ten months. In other words, I'm very out of practice doing voiceovers. What I've been what I've been doing that period of time. I've been working for the most part. Working out here and there, playing games here and there. I recently got into projects so, not I can't say recently. I got into Project Sekai, which is a Vocaloid rhythm game. I'm still playing F College ME. Uh, I'm farming the summer event right now, the last Vegas event. Kinda excited for the next summer event because of the costumes for the meals events. I won't spoil it here just in case I have a viewer that isn't following the cheap news or isn't following the GP schedule or what happened to them two years ago. So I'm just saying I'm pretty excited for the costumes there. On the GP side, uh, they haven't announced anything, obviously. They're about to release like a 0.5 with potentially Charlie Mane event based on the silhouettes, we don't know yet. They're gonna do the live stream tomorrow? Did yet? So it did first. Anyway, uh, I know I think they did June 1, actually. What day? That would have been Wednesday, I think. Yeah, so it's gonna happen on Wednesday. Depends on this up close as well. But yeah, I feel kind of I feel kind of um not much has changed, but also I'm feeling a little bit rusty. 
So I edited this footage around the same time I did the celebration for Okita 10 months ago, like last year. I just need to trim the clips here and there. But because I've been using After Effects for my job and not Premiere, my shortcuts are a little bit messed up. And yeah. Oh well, it's easy to get used to Premiere again anyway. I used it for years before I had to go to, to, to After Effects. So I guess now's the time to ask like how have you guys been? If you have been watching my videos before and despite all the breaks and pauses and just general inactivity, um, how have you been? And thank you for watching. If you have been there since some time ago, I want to apologize but also I, I just have to be honest, I haven't been drawing much. I think if I did this mostly like sketches, like daily sketches. And nothing really, really super. Anything they really wanted to do a video about, I put out. And I've been trying to rekindle that spark a little bit more recently. So, yeah, we'll see if I can continue this. Uh, I still kind of enjoy video editing. I feel like I've learned a little bit from my job. I just don't know how I'm going to apply that to this YouTube channel. Uh, I feel like my editing style is more or less still the same, maybe a little bit faster and a little bit more snappier, but yeah, I don't think a lot has changed. <laughs> like definitely I feel like I should do more um, like close-up shots and really satisfying shots, but I really draw really slowly, so that's going to take like a really, really long video to do. Yeah, enough about me. I hope you've been okay. Uh, you, the viewer, are okay. I, yeah, things have been happening in the world, I guess. <laughs> A lot of things. So I hope you're lying in there. I hope you're getting enough rest and space and time for yourself. You're not really running yourself into the ground or pushing yourself too much. And I'm pretty sure. Everybody knows when they're really pushing themselves to see why it's just a matter of whether they admit that or not. Kind of talking to myself as well regarding that. But yeah. So, yeah, just uh, me trying to catch up with you. Whoever my viewers are still left, subscribe to this channel. And they're, <laughs> they're still watching or not. I'm not gonna lie, like, I, I, I've been watching some VTuber videos and I'm I kind of enjoy their stuff, and it's kind of what rekindled my. Like, it made me remember how much I like to do videos and video editing. Like, granted, we choose which live streamer, so you don't need video edit. But just watching those videos and judging, like, oh, I forgot I really actually do enjoy doing YouTube a little bit, even though uh, obviously I haven't seen any growth since I'm not consistent or anything like that. And you know, I'm a large channel, so it's pretty niche as well. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm kind of contemplating now whether I want to go back to live streaming on Twitch or YouTube, if they are. I haven't really thought about that that much. Um, I don't know if I want to do that. I mean, it could be fun just drawing and maybe having company, people drop in. I don't think I want to do that right now. We'll see. Because I haven't really got into the groove of it yet, so I'm taking it one step at a time, kind of thing. So, video editing first, because it's easy. I just draw and have a recorder on and just trim the clips afterwards. Unlike live streaming, where you have to kind of have to be mentally there. You can't really zone out on what you're drawing. You're not, you're not, pop, you probably can't watch a YouTube video while working. So, we'll see where that ends me up. Ah, I want to talk about this part where I'm doing the sword. I actually had a lot of fun with this. Like, her sword in the game is actually pretty gentle like this, and the edge is pretty light there. And I had a lot of fun trying to recreate that. And then doing this flames thing, I dug up a really, really old tutorial from when I was in high school. And I remember I had it. I just wanted to learn how to maybe make 
to flames or just flames in general it was very helpful i had that all open on a different tab referenced it every time i needed to check the next step pretty simple to be honest it was like multiply overlay add and then white and then you pretty much got what you want so that was really cool to, to finally manage to do that after almost a decade i guess of having that tutorial had some difficulty in the background a little bit i usually wanted to have clouds swirling at least swirling but surrounding her a little bit just to imply that she's up in the air in the clouds and she's kind of looking down a little bit in a sort of an angle towards the ocean I wasn't really able to plan that properly when I was doing the sketch, so I was kind of trying to feel my way through this part of the the drawing. In the end, I just ended up with like a really basic gradient on the bottom just to create the horizon of sorts. So yeah, I, I really love throwing myself into a drawing and like, oh, we'll see where it goes. And then I sort of formed the idea midway and then be like, oh no, how do I, do I, how do I go about this? How, how do I how do I incorporate that? So yeah, some they say things I do sometimes. But yeah, we're almost twelve minutes. Yeah, but yeah, <laughs> I guess I'm back to my slightly shorter videos. I remember some of my videos will reach up to fifteen minutes because I want to do so many clips. I'll try to listen that a bit more. It just so happens that I do a lot more steps now, so. We'll see where I end up with that. Here's the final product. And I hope you enjoyed. It's been a long time. And I know uh, not much has changed, to be honest. Did a little bit of work here and there. So, <laughs> Okay. Hope you enjoy. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram. And I'll see you around.